adolescent maid servant. Yeah. Wearing the leftover silken blouse and dress that my mistress lovingly gave me with her own hand. So in Sarupa ways, one thing is important in my constitutional position that what I identify, that I work for. If I identify my material body, I work under the control of false ego. Why? To maintain my body, right? And when I identify my constitutional position, my saruk, my spiritual body, then I am out of the false ego. I am in the service of Radhika, love and feeling. Radha means Alladini Shakti. Alladini Shakti means love and love with feelings is spiritual feelings. So, in Sarup we see we have a first name, my color, body color and the dress color. Why is important? Because this is my identification that what is my body color, what is my clothes color, and what is my name in my constitutional position. To meditate that, to be always in the service of my spiritual body consciousness, in my sarupa You see the Prabhupada, he write in the page 4 Bhagavad Gita introduction, our devotional practice is to know the sarup. Sarup is my constitutional position. And sarup siddhi, what is means Siddhi is a perfection in that practice. And this, in the beginning he mentioned this move with relation. There are five types of relation. And this five relation one relation, if we accept in our life and we think on that, then we develop my spiritual position. Relation without is not working. He repeat this word 22 times in the page 4. Relation. Relation, relation. So that the very important point eh, to be identify myself to serve Radhika in my constitutional position because I identified her clothes that that clothes she give, I am wearing. 
cloth is also mercy color is also mercy and name is also mercy and age to fix in that age is also mercy <laughs> seva what we got it is also mercy and my nature how to change my nature is also mercy but i have to identify identify with something that i am her servant radhika dasi not a male female servant because soul is a female not a male yeah go on when can i see myself here as shri radhika tende adolescent may seven adolescent right because the yeah. the soul always young is not to become old my body can become old it becomes sick but the soul is always young so this is adolescent always young but at the same time prakriti and purusha and the soul is prakriti and the cre- creator is purusha so is also female creation of creator is female so is a prakriti body makes me to become purusha but this constitutional position of my sarva make me to be a prakriti yeah wearing the left over silken blouse and dress that my mistress lovingly gave me with her own hand and always standing by her side to assist her with great expertise the commentary is entitled awakening of the spiritual body yeah. how sweet it is to think i am radha's maid servant how tender and delicious is the remembrance of one's sida swarupa shrimad jeeva goswami said in bhakti sandarbha even if one does not perform any spiritual practice 
one has attained perfection simply by considering oneself to belong to God. The practicing devotee takes the forms, qualities, and activities of the eternally perfect maid servant, Nitya Siddha Manjarigana, as his example to nourish his self identification of I am an adolescent maidservant with such and such qualities, service, and form. Yeah. I am not this body, I am not this mind, and I am not these senses. Siddhar Maharaj is telling, die to live. What to die? Physical body's identification to live in a spiritual life. That is again the... the practicing devotee takes the forms, qualities, and activities of the eternally perfect maid servants. Nitya Siddha Manjarigana as his example to nourish his self-identification of I am an adolescent maidservant with such and such qualities, service and form. I am not this, this body, I am not this mind, and I am not these senses, but I am a transcendental female individual, eternally endowed with adolescent beauty. This is how the aspirant shrugs off, shakes off his bodily and mental consciousness. I don't understand the This is the way for an aspirant to shrug off, to scrub off his bodily and mental consciousness. It's a scratch off. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Is a hard coil. It's not going out. It's mm -hmm. right. This rub and scratch it needs out. wire to rub. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> The Upanishadas state, the soul is not female, not male, and not neuter. 
and he attains a body according to his absorption in a particular thought. That's the point. So this, <laughs> no male and female, <laughs> because he has no form, impersonal. Brahmagyan, without my sarup form, I cannot see the sarup of Radha and Krishna. You see that Jesus, he say, I'm a son, he's sarup form. Then he say, your father. Sarup has to fix first. Then you relate with that, means uh, relation comes when my identification, not a soul, in a form has to be clear. Then if it is a soul, then it is a spark or light. Important. We are not moved for the personal relation. Right, Dhananda Maharaj? Yes, good day. This, your realization. You want to share? Oh. Um. I guess I put it in the Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, Gurudev, I, so I don't know. Can I say a little bit? Yes, yes. I don't know how many years ago, maybe six, seven years ago, uh, Sadhu Maharaj's god brother, Radha Mohan Das Babaji Maharaj, uh, left his body. So at that time, uh, before I left his body, and uh, we went to see Radha Mohan Baba <laughs> with Sadhu Maharaj and Kesha Baba and with other devotees. And then at that time, so we are little bit listening his his talk. And Sadhu Maharaj was saying, Oh Maharaj, please give us your mercy. Sadhu Maharaj saying something like that. And I was listening what he talk. How, you know, how he talk, what is his blessing for us? <laughs> this is very interesting. I, I, I never forget that blessing. Radha Mohan Baba saying <laughs> to us, you may have Abhiman of Radha Dashi. So <laughs> I was really, uh, you know, I'm very happy to hear this one. And also, so this is our, our, say, our very important thing to have it. Abhiman means our, not a hankara, but a spiritual consciousness, what we, what, what we are. So Radha Mohan was saying, so we are Radha Dashi. So we should meditate 
this spiritual body, which is Radha Dashi. This is, I remember, this is his blessing, Gurudev. <laughs> Really, he was very elevated. Twelve years, he do sadhana in Barsane, in the cave. Only Kramagatri bhajan he do, 24-7. Two hours, three hours sleep. And he is, every moment his action and he is can meditating in Radharani. Mercy, he has a special mercy of Gurudev and Radharani, a special mercy. So if you see what he say, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, also in one song, song he said, Radha Bhajana Hoi Abhiman. And the Abhiman word is, a, is a not a false ego. If I become pride, that I become Dasi of Radhika, then my Consciousness is not staying in, in my body. I am staying in my constitutional position. That is the beauty of this Abhiman. And in that time, then he say, then immediately Gokula Khan is coming to you and he listens to you. In also in morning Russian class, there was one line that Sakhis and Manjiris only say, only see and say that is a Radha's Krishna. Why Radha's Krishna? They say other, why not say? Others say God Krishna. And the Sakis Manjaris, they see Radha's Krishna. What is beautiful? To see Radha's love with Krishna. Radha's Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. Vrindavan Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God and Dwaraka Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. Who understand, they will say, Brajendra Nandan is Supreme. Right? Because Krishna in Dwaraka is in Aishya is a Narayan Krishna. See the book of Nara Narayan Maharaj, hidden path of devotion. He details make the career in the Gokula, how many layers are there? Gokul Vrindavan. Goloka Vrindam. So, this has to realize and like in Jananda Maharaj is telling, this should be our pride that I am a Radha Metzhar. I want to be her shadow. I want to be increase her mood and feeling and love in my life.
without feeling this does not come to relish them. Without love, feelings not. We not wander from material thing. You are rich, a poor. You have a love or not? That is the meaning. Yes. Your more you want to say something, sorry, I interrupt you. No, Guru Dev, please go on. Please go on. The Upanishadas state the soul is not female, not male, and not neuter. See, what is meaning? Understand, not soul, soul, soul talk. Talk about constitutional position, sarup, not soul, soul, soul. You are Brahmagyani. You are impersonal working. You say, I am I am a devotee, and I say, so, 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 and I say, I am a Krishna devotee. No, no, no. <laughs> Indirectly, you are Brahmagyani. You do only see the God. No relation you want to do it. You don't want to relate. You want to see as a God on You will see Brahma, it's spark. Or maybe you can see the light. Nothing else. One is spark and light you can see. Without relation, you cannot directly feel it and see it. Indirectly telling this story, again repeat this line. The soul is not female, not male. You want to be a female. In Hindi they say, if you are not male, you are not female, you are hijra. You are, what, what do you say? Gay? What do you say? Huh? Yes. You need to be a female. The male consciousness is body consciousness. Enjoyment tendency is there because I'm identifying myself as a male. Then I become doer. We have to be a viewer, not a doer. Mm. Why not you like to see? Viewer or more relisher of the doer, actors. They are actors and we are viewer of that hero and heroine. Be beautiful to be a viewer in your constitutional position. <laughs> you feel it. We feel it. Very important. We are will be Brahmagyani if you don't fix it. We come to the this consciousness and it block ourselves. Oh, we know the soul. Then 
we want to live in my body, the consciousness. We don't want to be a spiritual person, <coughs> religious or cultural person. You, you, not, you have no goal of the spirituality. No desire for that. Read again this word. The soul is not female, not male. I want to be a female. In Sadak Daya, I am a male, so we worship Mahaprabhu. And by His grace, I want to be a female in my spiritual constitutional position. Right? By His grace. If we understand Mahaprabhu, we love Mahaprabhu. If we understand Prabhupada, we will do it. Then Prabhupada give this thing, Sarup and Sarup Siddhi, then he think that they are baby. They are in preparatory in class. How they will understand this? Then he say, then if you cannot do this, first he said that, then do this five item that God is there, soul is there, karma is there, and kala, kala is there, prakriti. and prakriti. This is more easy to understand. Because we are living in bodily consciousness, we try to do this. Then his more idea he gave, do this, do this, do this, do this. But what means of this? Why not he say, first thing you do it? Why not he serious for that? Do you have to do that thing? You are out of the time. You are out of the kala. You are out of the prakriti creation. You become prakriti. You are not purusa. You understand soul, but you want sarup, not prakriti. You want prakriti to become. Divine Prakriti, who can be always in service. You need to know that. We want not to touch nose like this. We want to touch nose like this. And we never touch. We divert in different, different directions. Wrong. The soul is not female. <laughs> so nicely there. Yeah. This is Mahajan teaching. No. Not male and not neutral. And he attains a body. He attend the body. That is constitutional position. Then he becomes bhakta. Before how you are bhakta, yeah? No devotee. <laughs> when you I at uh, attend the constitutional position, your body, then you can relate and see with that.
right or not? How Jesus is looking father? Why not he say God? Why not he ask for his life? Why not he pray for that? Because he is in love with his father. He want to make him happy what he likes. If you don't understand, son, you will never understand father. You have to really understand what is my constitutional position. Yeah. The soul is not female, not male, and not neutral. He attains a body according to his absorption in a particular thought. Yes, absorption. What I thought, I will get it. Read last line. Listen like, mm, uh, nicely. Where you observe yourself? He attains a body according to his absorption. What is absorbing? Your mind is absorbed. Anandas Baba say, Mental concocted body is myself. I was shocked. I was shocked really in the beginning that uh, why is a mental co concocted body? Conceived. Mental, mental conceived body. My God. Is a mental conceived? And you see here the same line. Observe, conceived that. Then it will come because manobriti make you many ideas and many projects to do. How you will cut this when you not decide one point yet to do? So that's to conceive the mind, I want this. I want to identify myself as the Radha Metzal. So mind not need to go any other place for diversity. This is the perfection of Chitta Vritti. Chitta Vritti, this is perfection. Raghunath Baba says the perfection of my Chitta Vritti, that I am not in my Mano Vritti, not in influence of false ego. And he attains a body according to his absorption in a particular thought. Sripada not only thinks of himself as an adolescent maidservant, but he also says, Prasadam Swami Nayaha Svakaratala Dattam Pranayaka 
I am dressed with the leftover blouse and the dress that Swami lovingly gave me with her own hand when she was satisfied with my service. Very practical. Yeah. According to Srila Raguna Das Goswami, all of Srima Tiradika's clothes and ornaments are made of transcendental emotions. Oh. Yes. All are made with transcendental emotions. What is the ornament? It is the emotion of love for Krishna. Because Manjari and Radhika is there, and she put the ornament thing to her. And showing to Manjari, to Krishna, I'm putting in your hand. Krishna always likes to touch your left hand, right? Because he's right side, no? So he put the hand like this to touch you, and this hand he will touch. So they put in left hand. Many, many, go on. <laughs> so this, and then he said, he will be very happy when he will see what is this. You are she will, He will like to catch you like that. He said, put, immediately put, I will think that Krishna is touching me. This is emotions are made. Even a drive up card will become filled with rasa by remembering Srimati's leftover blouses and dresses. Sure, our heart is dying because so many life we practice male consciousness. Still, it's not going. When I come back to my bodily consciousness, it still starts jumping on me. Only hope is a leftover blessing that is keeping me alive in my self power. If she not gifted me, if mercy not gifted me, if she not accept me, again I can be a ping-pong and enjoy, want to be in bodily consciousness. So many life, and this life after you, becoming devotee also, 
still is blocking me. Are you a male or female body? Living in your sadhak deha is a male body. You are not a female yet. You think that you are female, but you are male. Why? Because one thing is not going, the male consciousness to enjoy. That enjoyment is the male consciousness, is the male body. You are gifted with the female body, but it's still male consciousness is there. So, to become lucky, we become again unlucky. See that. No, no. Yeah. Even a dried up heart will become filled with rasa by remembering. Srimati's left over blouses uh -huh. and dresses. Uddhava Mahashai says in Srimad Bhagavad, O Lord, by accepting the garments, perfumes, Dresses, ornaments. Perfume, why? Radha Mohan, you come, every day you get perfume. Why? <laughs> Our habit in male body, only bad is smelling. <laughs> Ugly smells. Dirty smells. Whole life we smell dirty and living in that smell. And now change your flavor. Radharani sent us, so oh, change your flavor. Come in my flavor. And then your life will change. Take my some oh, dresses. You do so nice service, I gift you some dresses. Old garments. Why the Japanese devotee like old garment of Radha Mohan? They are so conscious. They are only searching old garments, prashada. Radha Wow. Not only making, making old garments, making new garments and taking old garments. <laughs> you see, this is the devotion that I got the prashant of God. Maybe my life will change. Chakshu Prabhu also make very nice dress and back 
Backdrops. Backdrops. You are in seva, always busy to making something. Shama, Priya and Ras Lina. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not go in. <laughs> but take care. Oh Lord, by accepting the garlands, perfumes. This seva, you know, Gopinath Prabhu do perfume and garlands. In a Siddha Sarup also he has, and in Sadak Deha he also. So, is a, a Seva, a Sadhak Rupena. How you will get in doing Sadhak Rupena? You will get Siddha Rupena Chatrahi. It will be umbrella, protection, whole time with your life. So, Siddha Rupena he gets. He always do in Sadak Rupen, physically also. That is the Seva. Do the Maruta does have to write some Seva Bhakti Chandrita? Sadhana Bhavi Ve Yaha Siddha Deha Pavetaha. Same thing. Read, say, say. Whatever I do in my Say it. Yeah. Marotan does talk to right from the Prema Bhakti. Whatever I do in my sadhana, meditation, absorption, I will uh, attain that in my Siddha Deva. Rudav Mahashay says in Srimad Bhagavad, O Lord, by accepting the garlands, perfumes, dresses, ornaments, and unguents that have been enjoyed by you, And by eating the remnants of your food, your servants conquer your illusory energy, Maya. Yeah, you see the beauty? Again, read. Oh Lord, by accepting the garlands. Only accepting garlands. Perfumes. Perfumes. With love, that acceptance. Dresses. Wow. Ornaments. And unguents. Uh -huh. I think this is like a sandal paste. Yeah, sandal. Sandal that have been enjoyed by you and by eating the remnants of your food, your servants conquer your illusory energy, Maya. Wow. This is all Ashwarya Bhav, a reverential concept. Therefore, the conquest of Maya is mentioned here as the benediction. But in Madhurya Rajya, the kingdom of sweetness, Lhasa is the benediction. Uh -huh. 
So what is your desire? Aishwarya bhav go a madhurya bhav. You will conquer the maya and here you will conquer in madhurya bhav rasa. Rasa vaisaha, raso vaisaha, rasik sekhar. That is rasa. Krishna is rasa. Feeling and maha feeling is Radha. Mahabhav and Bhav is the Bhav. When we got the feeling, we Bhav, then we go to receive more Mahabhav. We want to increase my feeling. That is Mahabhav. And this Mahabhav automatic rasa is coming near because of Mahabhav cannot live without Mahabhav rasa. You don't need to bother for searching him. He dance around the Mahabhav. This is the quality of rasa. And the kinkari, manjaris, and the sakis, as per their radha dasyam, They receive that ananda. Ananda. When rasa come close to Mahabhav, highest feeling, ananda is automatic coming out from that. That the closest manjari kinkari receive, then leftover of them. Saki is gopi but out of this who will receive? They see like a god because they are in the soul consciousness and they are not identified his constitution position. They're not fixed. Right, Yananda Maharaj? Yes, Gurudev. <laughs> Nobody give you the key. Why? Then you don't need anyone. You need your place and to leave there. Why you bother to? If Gurudev give you key, you why you bother? You are where you are. You are in your constitutional position with your Guru and his today. You never go out from that. That is Chaitya Guru and your sound. Every moment, every second you go inside, you don't need to say outside. It's always glorification. What is happening is your grace. But we not see sadhak there. We see in the siddha there. So Nishtha is coming. It tell you are looking to sadhak there, 
your faith is there, but firm faith will not come. Yeah. 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 The remembrance of Radhika's sweet pastimes is penetrated by the remembrance of the blouse and dress that she mercifully gave with her own hands. The bodily fragments of Radha and Mohana is sweet Prashad. And when the Kinkari smells it, she feels blessed. Kinkri will feel blessed because they are connected. And who is not connected, they will feel blessed. So it's not about you. You don't know. They connect with that. They cannot live without them. They want to more connect them. Sripada says in his Vrindavan Mahimamrita, Shiradika's maid servants enchant everyone's mind by wearing the leftover garlands, dresses, and ornaments of the divine loving. Punja Virakini Rai Radhika is alone in the bower, suffering out of separation from her lover, and her maidservant goes out to look for her in order to save for Ishwari's life. Again, the princess. Love the Punja Virakini Rai, Radhika, is alone in the Punja, suffering out of separation from her lover. And her maidservant goes out to look for him in order to save her Ishwari's life. Swamini is most satisfied 
with her service. So she wants to reward her with something. With love, she pulls her small maid servant at her chest, kisses her, and gives her her leftover garment, blouse, and ornaments with her own hands. How many streams of mercy are pouring from her beautiful eyes upon her maid servant? Such Jessica rewards cannot even be imagined in the abode of divine prowess, Aishwarya Dham. Shiradika's handmaids are expert in different practical services. Shirishwari Radhika personally taught them all these different artful skills. And by her grace, they can perfectly understand all the hints she makes to them with her eyes, words, and gestures. Then the divine couple will draw the curtain from their minds and reveal everything to their maid servants. Nothing will remain hidden from them anymore. Nobody knows how to serve like Radhika's maid servant. It's the end of verse 53. No, this is the gift of Chaitanya, the medicine. Never gifted before Mahatma. They are Adhik Sneha. They are like a baby of Radhika. And they are faithful of Radhika. So they know all the feelings and all the circumstances, all the privacy of Radhika. That is the special gift given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Where you see Jananda Maharaj in Chaitanya Chaitamrita about the Manjari Sarup, you say one day to me, you remember something? Can you explain that? Yes. Uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita mentions, uh, so Krishna's Kabraja was saying, Krishna was uh, showing Aishwara Baba all, always. Usually, Krish, Krishna or Naren show Aishwara Baba to us. 
But uh, he sang. He did not review uh, the Braja Baba. Actually, and I was thinking at first, this is Raganuga Bhakti. Krishna did not review to us. But uh, when we we reading Man Manjari Swarupa Nirupana, I I I could understand more deeply. So Mahaprabhu, so Krishna in Brindavan Lira, he could not understand three things. One is Radharani's Mahima, <laughs> means Radharani's glorification. How? What is Radharani's love? And second thing, Krishna understand why Radharani love Krishna so much. That means Krishna has special quality. <laughs> but uh, Krishna himself could not understand. And third thing, uh, Krishna want to taste Radharani's love, Mahababa. So these, these three things, Krishna could not understand, even though Krishna is Bhagavan, so I am Bhagavan himself. So Krishna was thinking, how can I taste and understand and taste it? So he was thinking, oh, let me become like Radha. <laughs> Means he accept position of uh, Bhakta. Means uh, someone, who is, uh, someone who is serving like Radha Rani. So Krishna took the mood of Radha Rani. And also outside, inside he took the mood of Radharani, and outside he took color of Radharani. So <laughs> then Mahaprabhu is taste in Gora Lira, but not only taste, he want to distribute it. He want to he want to let us to taste. But we cannot become <laughs> Radha because he is uh, she is Mahababa him herself. So we could not become Mahababa. But if we become very close with Radha. If we become shadow of Radha, if we become kinkari of Radha, at that time, we could understand Radha's mood and Krishna's mood, and we can taste it. Therefore, Sadhu Maharaj is saying, we are not doer. <laughs> we, are, we, are see, we are seeing. You know, Kinkari was seeing just a small photo of, you know, some Manjari hide themselves and see what's going on, Radha Krishna's leader. At that time, because they are shadow of Radharani, therefore she could feel what Radha is feeling. So 
Therefore, in Chaitanya Charita mentioned, actually, Mahaprabhu is showing, actually, Mahaprabhu not only tasting, showing Manjari Baba, Kinkari Baba, <laughs> how to how to taste it. So then, that's, that's real things give to Rupa Goswami. And you know, Rupa Shiksha and Chai Chai Charita Murita. So, if really understand these things, so Mahaprabhu is amazing. Mahaprabhu is so magnanimous. Namo Mahabadanyaya. Krishna Prema Pradayate. Krishna ya Krishna Chaitanya. Gora Tamushenam. So I shocked. I have read Manjari Swarupa Nirupana. I really shocked. <laughs> These things reviewed by the mercy of Sad Maharaj. And also Anandas Babaji Maharaj. And you see in Chaitanya, whole Chaitanya Chaitanya, Kavirag Swami is writing Rupa Raghunath Pade Rahu Moraj. We take the asa hope from many places, but we never take the shelter of hope in Radha and Rupa and Raghunath. They are all uh, six Goswamis, all are very special. But why he mentioned Rupa Raghunath Padderahu Moras? Because if you want to know something about Rupa, you cannot understand from Rupa Goswami book. We have to go to his disciple, Raghunath. If you want to know some guru, you cannot understand without his disciple. Why? Because the guru nature comes to disciple. Naturally, it will come. The mood of Guru will come to disciple. Why Krishna took the mood of Radhika means he wants to show that Radhika is my Guru and I am his disciple. Mm. This is Manjiri Bhav. And he said, I am so naughty, I cannot stay one place. He said, Radhika, I need your help. You covered me. That if I want to jump out, I cannot. They bring me to Puri, Jagannath Puri. It's a totally Aishwarya Bhav. But you see, Mahaprabhu mood in Aishwarya Bhav, nothing is there. Is all Madhurya Bhav he showed. Every 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 her behavior is in Madhurya Rasa. So he never come out in Mahaprabhu out of his his kinkiri bhav, Radha Dasyam bhav. And he is not teaching us, he is doing himself and he is guiding us. Although she was Radha, but Krishna is practicing like I am, took the mood of Radha. Mood of Radhika. 
you see, see anyone, your disciple, he took the, your mood, Jananda Maharaj, so how their nature is? Your mood is there. And if it's not to center of you, they will not receive your mood. And who took the shelter, they will automatically get that mood. So he took the hundred percent shelter of Radhika to get that mood. So good he see the mountain and he say Govardhan. He see the river Ganga. He say Ramana. What you are telling, say. <laughs> I try to took your mood, Gurudev. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we are taking Mahajan's mood. I am very small person, you know. I am still a student. So, Gurudev, before meeting you, I could not do anything. <laughs> After meeting you, I don't know something, something happening. One thing Radharani said to me in Gurudev, he is a realized person. And you want that he, he can help anyone. If we go to Japan, he can more realize himself to help others. So please request him to go there. There is two big requirements of him. So I request you to go there. And when first time I go, I see you and Kishori. I am little sometimes angry with her, but I love also. Honestly, because she is the great soul. She is a very great soul. She is always, always want to serve you. And I believe because of love of you and Mercy she has, she will become different person. She translates so beautifully, difficult things. I I melting to see that. She has she has a special mercy. I'm proud. I start loving more. I want to control my love, but she's a good soul. Right. This is your mercy, Gurudev. She has to understand this. There. We, we need her. She has to feel this. Come out from the false ego and to take, take shelter of Radhika. Please. Only this request to you, Sri So, everybody, we, everybody should take shelter. Radhika. That is the point. Yeah. What Russian devotees? My Mahabhav. Other Christian devotee want to ask them, but they are uh, 
any question you have, you can ask to Jananda Maharaj. Gauranga, ask to Jananda Maharaj. Oh, Radhe Radhe Gurudev. <laughs> It, it was great pleasure to listen his words and feelings behind that words, which is most important. So I I have great feelings toward Jayananda, and I always like to listen him. Yeah, oh. it's yeah, really to privilege the time to Christian Sangha. Yes, it will be very nice. It's a little bit too late maybe for Japan. But maybe we can arrange something. It will be really nice refreshment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very privileged, Gurudev, to have such an association like Jayananda and all other devotees, Suniti, Mahabhava, Tulsi, Chakshu, I'm sorry I cannot mention you all, but it's really great. Gauravani. Gauravani. Yeah. Gauravani. <laughs> yes. Tarun Baba. Tarun Baba. <laughs> Tarun all they are good. Everyone is great. Yes, Guru. So many beautiful devotees are around you. And my, yeah. that's my mother. Yeah. She want to fly any moment <laughs> to Vrindavan. Yes. Yeah, she, she is very impatient. Spider, only meditating about Vrindavan. Now she come, Radha Mohan come to her, ask to her. Yes, maybe she can explain how Radha Mohan came to her. <laughs> you say? Yeah, because it's it is really amazing. It, amazing. It, she at that time I called and she was dancing on the <laughs> dancing yeah, she, and she showing all the clothes, ornaments, and full. She cannot buy how much they did. It happens to her. Yes. Say. Eh? Please, Rabanga. Rasmai, uh, what is the name? Rabanga Latika. Lambanga Latika. Rade, Rade. <laughs> oh, that's, that was very creepy because I I have the wish that I saw Radha Mohan all the time, but I buy ticket to Vrindavan, but it's not possible to go on in Vrindavan. Um, here, and one thing I say you. I was, I, here, daughter I was sitting. Not one minute, wait. Here, her then, daughter was sitting. She said, This is Radha Madan Mohan. She said, No, Radha Mohan. No, Radha Mohan. And, and uh, Ras may say Radha Madan Mohan. She said, No, 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 no. Radha Mohan. Radha Mohan. Wow. <laughs> that was so amazing because I go to my garden to pick the flowers to offer my Radha Mohan. And I pray, Please, Radha Mohan, I won't serve you. And after that, somebody called me. I look at my phone. And I see Sadhu Maharaj called me. This was very mystical, amazing moment for me. And I show everything for him and he gave him blessing and he said to me, Adarana, accept you like a servant. <laughs> Gurudev, but she didn't explain how she got it, this beautiful yeah, yeah. Radha Mohan. I think he is an ecstasy still. So <laughs> he is hiding. Say all the stories. Yeah. 
Yes, I, I was I was not able to go to Vrindavan, by, but they came to me. My granddaughter daughter, was making a journey with one Mataji who wanted to find a home for her Radha Mohan because she has no time for Radha Mohan. They, this Mohan, Radha Mohan looks exactly at what at was pictured in them. Mohan is dark and Radhika is golden. And my daughter came, my granddaughter came to Simchan because she lives there with my family and bring me Radha Mohan. <laughs> and this was also interesting because she, Radha Mohan came and also came so many ornaments, uh, clothes, jewelry, beds, everything. Everything. My, everything, my God. Everything. <laughs> everything. She is Complete. dancing and showing to me everything. Everything. Yes. <laughs> So, show sure, everything. <laughs> wow, so nice. So nice, huh? Yeah. Wow. Gurudev, Thanks. this is the proof where this is a strong desire greed then everything is possible yeah everything and comes always mind is fixed she's only painting making of radharani radharani come to her what's it uh uh ananda bhaji mentor conceived conceived We have to conceive mentally. I'm so happy for you, Mama. <laughs> I'm so, so happy. I cannot explain. Yeah. Gurudev, mm -hmm. uh, Ananta, her Labanga Latika's father, uh, husband, sorry, Rasamai's father. <laughs> he is very, very deep in understanding. He is hiding himself. He is Mahatma. Yeah, real Mahatma. He is Mahatma. Yeah, he is Mahatma. His name yeah. is Mahatma. She is really the mercy of this Mahatma, the two babies, Rasmai and elder sister, both are jewel. And who lives in Jarma, he is also my very good friend. I see him in 20. He was living in Graz that time. And he's a very I good Violent player, I know from that time, 2001. <coughs> they are whole family is a bhakta. You see, this baby, she is also great devotee, granddaughter. And where is your daughter? Call her. Where is your daughter? Daughter is not here at the moment. She left. My God. She's not here, she, but my, my Tara is here. She yeah. helped me every morning with Radha Mohan. In this age, she is a pure devotee. Very loving soul. <laughs> wow. This is Thank you. devotional, devotee's gift. And why this happened? Because of Mahatma. <laughs> Mahatma is... Plus my father is Mahatma. Maharaj, I'm trying only to be the servant. 
Operada. You already serve, yeah. You are you are serve to create your family in right manner. I think you are the pillar before never happened in your family. So because Mahatma, nothing can change. Maharaj, that is all your mercy. Yeah. It's all mercy of Radharani. So you are balanced from your young age. Do everything but balance. That the greatness of you. Many are not balanced, but your love makes them balanced. This is the greatness. And you see the gift of your granddaughter. She looks special. Anyone will see. See the special soul. You see the Gopinath's son and daughter, Radhika and Mohan, is special soul. Anyone can see and feel it. They are give already give what they will give more. Who can build his family, they, they have a spiritual family, they can build that. We have to start from our home. And this is also my family. Like in Japan, devotees, whose family is this? is the children of Jananda. One day he say, I have no child. I, have, I say, you create 2,000 and you are going to create 10,000. What you say? One father, and one mother, how you will manage this? <laughs> you have to create elder brother and sister who will care that. Right? Yes, Gurudev. <laughs> but very responsible to understand your goal of life. That you have to take more time. I'm very proud because I got it. And I have Gopinath with me. So I do nothing. He said, do this, I do that. I follow him. <laughs> Thank you for your time. My Gora Chandra, my God, he is going very deep, my dear. Hello, Gora Chandra. I'm telling you, I'm surprising. You get the asset, Jananda Maharaj for Japan and Ras Madhuri, they are really jam full of couple. Their spiritual life growing, Gaurachandra growing after marriage life and Ras Madhuri.
you see? <laughs> Very, very. This has to be very balanced people. Your spiritual life make you balanced life, realized life. Religious life keep you in gunas. That's no meaning. I also thinking that religious life is a religious life is a spiritual life. It is all false idea. Material life is a outside activity. No, no, no. Physical, religious, and when we call, cross over with religious gunas, then we reach to spiritual. Till I am bind, binded in the material blockage, we cannot go for a school. You have to not stay, block yourself in soul only. Identify your sarup and relation. Thank you, my dear.